difficult to land strikes in the champion starting from that. Oh, it looks like yeah. Chan Sung Chun's right shoulder separated off that last combination. And the big attack continues. Welcome back to Inside MMA. You just saw Chan Sung Jung against UFC featherweight champ Jose Aldo separating his shoulder in the fourth round at last weekend's UFC 163 event. In case you missed it, here is what went down in Brazil. A great fight between the two, but once again, Aldo has now defended his belt five times, tying John Jones for second place after GSP among current champions. And in the co-main event, Bill Davis gets a razor-thin division decision victory over Lyoto Machida. But, boss, Aldo's the story first. He was injured again. He broke his right foot in the first round and is likely done for the year. You know, he's talked about a possible move to weight divisions. What do you think is next for Jose Aldo? I was thinking uh, Ricardo Lamas. I think this guy won, won his four last fights, two knockouts, one submission, one decision. So he's on a hot streak. And, of course, Showtime Pettis. I, uh, I think that would be an awesome fight. I'm really looking forward to that one. I'm pretty sure that Dana's going to set those guys up. Well, it would be interesting. And you got to throw a couple names out there, too, in the mix. You know, you got Chad Mendez and, and even Cub Swanson, who has been tearing up the division yep. lately. So I think there are a lot of challenges still out there for Jose Alden. Yeah, Chad Mendes, though, he fought him like three fights ago. Yep. So, um, yeah, but look at this. He sees an animal that is wounded on his shoulder, oh, and he ounces. lays a guy that kicks <laughs> to the shoulder. Ding, ding, ding. Incredible. I mean, you know, that, that's the... That's the violence in the, in the fighter when it comes out, you know, and especially when the corner is screaming, go, go, go. Sometimes yeah. at that moment I say, he's injured. <laughs> you know, I in, would step back. His arm is thing, but no, no, no. Goes in for the kill, no Smell doubt great. about it. Well, most fans and UFC president Dana White thought Lyoto Machida beat Phil Davis, but the three judges cage side disagreed. Mm. All three scored the bout 29-28 for Davis. One of them was Judge Sal Diamato, who told us why he scored the fight the way he did. Quite honestly, I, I had a, uh, a knot in my gut uh, the last couple of days until I got a chance to get back home and watch the fight. Agonizing close rounds. I would have no problems whatsoever with Machida winning the first round. I mean, it was that close of a round, that close of a fight. I just thought that Davis was just a little more effective. The takedown just put a little bit more of a, an exclamation point. Not the takedown itself, but the result of the takedown. I mean, definitely not a robbery. If it's, uh, you know, if it's that close and it could go either way, and everyone really that you talk to has split on it, but then how can it be a robbery? Well, that sets up our fisticuffs topic this week. Did Phil Davis deserve to get the unanimous decision win over Lyoto Machida, or was the Dragon on the wrong side of a bad decision? Ooh. Well, who better to answer that question than Mr. Wonderful himself? Ooh. Phil Davis is here. Phil, why do you believe the judges gave you that win, and why did you win? Well, I, I believe I won because I stayed busier. I, I went to work early. I stayed busy the entire round. Whenever I could, I looked for takedowns. Yep. Whether you get them or not, you must look to advance your position on standing and on the ground. And I did that. I, I got a couple of takedowns. He uh, went for no takedowns, and he secured no takedowns. Uh, if in the case that uh, you're even on the stand-up, you know, takedowns matter a lot. Well, without a doubt, they do, and the judges saw it that way. Um, boss, uh, you have a take on this fight as well. What do you think? I have a take on this, but this is a, a note what I'm going to read because my take is a different read, but otherwise it wouldn't be a fisticuffs, okay? <laughs> now, Machida outlanded Davis in significant strikes is what fightmetric.com said. Davis landed more total strikes, but most of those strikes were to the body and to the legs, and they say they count less. Most of Davis' strikes landed also on the ground. Per scoring guidelines, standing strikes should be more heavily weighted than ground strikes. Wow. Then he had also, Machida defended eight of his total ten takedown defense. And uh, Judge Chris Waters gave Davis round two and three, but right. most people, including the other two judges, thought that round three was the most dominant round for Machida. I personally think the reason was also you took him down mm -hmm. and he didn't even try to get up. I That's think if part. he would have tried to escape and right away got back up, yep. 
maybe that could have been different, but you had total control on the ground, even though it was like 20 seconds and this, but still, right. you know, he didn't show anything from improving his position. Well, another part of it is uh, Machida's style. Machida's style is based on throwing hard punches and throwing hard punches and then evading, <laughs> throwing hard punches and then evading. Now, here's where that style loses. That style fails you when the other guy stays busier and he secures a takedown because then you can't evade. You know, you can't, that, that, that style of uh, guerrilla warfare uh, doesn't work if you end up losing the end all game, which is a takedown. And, and someone can ultimately control you on the ground. And that was the last place that Lyoto Machida wanted to be in this fight, yep. was on his back under you, and you were able to deliver that. How key do you think were those two late takedowns in the first and second round, Phil? They were, they were clutch, and it's hard to take Lyoto Machida down. He's one of the best in the game at it. Without a doubt. Yeah. He's, uh, he's really good. But in the last minute of the rounds, Lyoto Machida comes forward. He was looking for his big punches in the last minute. In the last minute, that is when I can take him down because yep. he's throwing hard punches. I can get under his punches, take him down. Before that, he's evading, evading, evading. When he's trying to throw hard and he means it, and he means it, then he's susceptible to a takedown, and that's what I was looking for. Yeah, counterfighters, well, most of the time, if it goes to a decision, they're going to lose the fight because yep. they're moving yep. backwards. And yep. backwards is not pressing the action. That's how it goes. Well, his style did him no favors in this yeah. fight. There's no doubt about it. And bottom line is, hey, Machida's been on the yeah. winning side of some bad decisions, too. I think Absolutely. about the, uh, the Shogun Hua fight the first yeah. time they fought, and I had uh, Hua dominating that fight, and he won it. Well, the other thing is uh, cage control, and uh, a guy moving backwards automatically loses that, yep. loses that, that, that area of uh, criteria. Yeah, that's it. So uh, it's tough. He has, a great, he has a great style against a certain kind of guy. You know, what you have to do is be patient and uh, not get frustrated and not get angry and go chase after him and do something crazy. Bottom line, Good game it was, it was yeah. a big win for you. The fisticuffs, I don't have to separate you two. I, I kind of feel the love here, so uh, there will be no brawls. All right, Phil will be back later in the show to answer your questions. Go to the Inside MMA Facebook page to submit a question. Will you answer any question? Absolutely. I love it. We'll be right back. The clock is ticking for UFC Bantamweight champ Dominic Cruz. The bottom line is I'm doing everything I can to be back tomorrow if it was possible. Stick around. You don't want to miss it.